in Detroit, Michigan. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love this place. You like this place? I love it. It's uh, it's one of those really unique tracks. Like it's always been the most bumpy track in IndyCar. Uh, I explain it as like the best definition that I can say represents IndyCar. Like old yeah. school, yeah. raw, just very fast and, and like tight and twisty in some areas. And I feel like every corner makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Like there's no corner you're just like, oh, easy. Every, every corner is like, oh, like every corner. If you make a mistake, there's going to be a big, yeah. big, big, uh, big price to pay. Yeah. And that's that's cool. Like yeah. that makes you keeps you on your toes. Keeps you on your toes. For me, it was time to, to do something different. And um, you know, I don't think there's a better pairing out there for, for who I am as a person and a competitor than Harold McLaren SP. So it's, it's really a no-brainer for us. Uh, we're trying to elevate on track, off track, uh, bringing the best talent that we can, and this is, this is proof of that. Yeah. You guys joined uh, IndyCar. I was like, this is amazing. You guys are joining my side of the pond, so this is awesome. I'm kind of sad because I've like grown up here and I've watched every almost every race here since I was a kid. Um, but I mean, I'm excited for it to come downtown. But it feels like home. Hello. How you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah. <laughs> it's your day. It's definitely my day. Boom. Can I give you a hug? Yeah. Can you just make like. Oh, yeah, let's I'm take a picture. I'm literally your number one fan, and I'm from Puerto Rico, so... I'm your fan. Oh, wow. I'm so happy. You I'm like so, this? So happy. Yes, you that made my day. Let's go. Completely. <laughs> I want a picture, please, yeah. if it's possible. Let's go. Can someone take a picture, please? Really green track, uh, really low grip. Certainly caught caught Felix out and a couple others uh, early on in the session there. But um, you know, boys will do a great job tonight and get their car back together. Uh, no dramas there. Cars are good. Uh, everybody did a great job getting prepared for this event to allow us to certainly be competitive right out of the box. And uh, we got a long weekend to go. Consistent running at all, uh, pretty much uh, both days. So uh, we'll uh, we'll just have to send it and see where we see where it lands. The area you pick up the race tickets are right where the race course is going to be. So I drove it in my car, you know, stop signs and all that. But it has nice elevation change and things, so I think it's going to be a great race course. But um, standing on the grass, sitting under the trees to take a nap is something I'll probably miss in the new location. You feel good. You feel good. You crush it. Going into qualifying, things were looking great, but unfortunately, Felix uh, impeded another car. In an Indy car, you lose your best uh, two laps, and you're not allowed to advance to the next session. So, Felix has his work cut out for him tomorrow. Um, starting in the 20s so it's gonna be a tough day but definitely not what the team deserves and it's gonna be uh, a long hard fight, long hard uh, fight for him but Pato on the other hand had a, a pretty steady weekend so far we were quick in FP1 we were quick in FP2 um, and he has a lot of confidence right now going into qualifying we were actually the quickest car in Q2 which put us into the fast six and we made uh, maybe the wrong decision on which tire to use um, so we had to settle for fifth on the grid but and it's all to play for. We know uh, if anyone can pass here, it's 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 Pato from what we saw last year. So it's gonna it's gonna be a fun race tomorrow. It's 
definitely a, a bit of a of a, of a sad uh, a, a sad situation to see such a such a iconic in, in a track that I mean we've raced there for like decades and and it's you know it's it's definitely hard to see it leave. Alright, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much. There you go. Great. three stops there's gonna be a lot of people on two stops so um, you know they're, they'll they're, there can definitely be a, um, a shuffle depending on where yellows fall and I think there's gonna be yellows falling because of how hectic the weekend has been so far but you just gotta have clean in and out laps um, and good pit stops and that should get you forward <laughs> It's the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix. Do we see green? We sure do. And it's a jumbled up field as Joseph Newgarden takes the green. But look at the rest of the map. <laughs> thing was the, ra the race went green uh, the whole time which I don't think we've ever seen so uh, what that did was allow four strategies uh, to all have a chance to win the race ultimately four strategies finished in the top five um, Pato finished fifth uh, with, with, with the strategy that we chose so a good day for him really good solid points day solid drive all around super proud of Felix uh, and the stand and the team uh, to claw their way from last all the way up to 10th to get a top 10 finish so you know after yesterday's mistake I think we had some kind of making up to do and, and, and the cars were great, uh, the team performed well and I think we maximized uh, the points that we had today. So 
good event, not a great event, but a good event and on to Road America where we've uh, we've had some success in the past. So excited about it. Yeah, 15 places up uh, with no no yellows at all. I think that's a solid day for, for the team. Uh, the car was quick and, and warm up quick in the race. I think we had a, you know, the only way we could go was, was forward. So uh, yeah, good fun. It kind of reminded me a bit of the go-kart days. Uh, had a lot of fun wheel-to-wheel -wheel action with uh, some of the guys and girls out there. So uh, yeah, really, really good fun. I think we, we said before the race, if we can finish top 10, we're, we're happy with the day and we, we just got that. So yeah, move on to Road America.